Hello everybody and welcome to J Smith Takes a Quick Look at Blue Chip, developed by Soko, aka Albert Socorro. Uh, it is a 2D pixel platformer, as you can uh, kind of see on the uh, on the screen here. Uh, we are going to be playing as this kind of little blue thing that keeps going back and forth and jumping up and down. Um, so here are my best scores so far, apparently, because uh, the game is going to show that off. Anywho, um, so like a lot of games I've been covering lately, this is a tough retro platform, but what makes this stand out from the rest is the ability to attack enemies uh, with falling bombs and also power-ups. It also has a pretty cool mechanic for uh, the lives that you have in trying to gain more lives and, and uh, kind of preventing that inevitable uh, game over. It's a fun, free little game that you can play over on Game Jolt, so if you like what you see, I highly recommend going over there and playing it. Link, of course, will be in the description below. Uh, so, let's just press S to start up. Arrow keys are going to move us around Around it. Um, jump is the S key and D is to drop bombs. I can do a double jump extra life every 4,000 points. There are also there. Uh, there are also um, ways to uh, to get power ups. Um, what is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, so you want to pick up, be able to pick up power-ups. That's going to be uh, super important to me. Uh, the ability to uh, defeat all of these enemies. The enemies are all basically just kind of different shapes. So if you think about it, this is basically me playing against uh, the Thomas Was Alone cast. Um, Thomas Was Alone cast sounds a lot like if Mike Bithell had a podcast. I, I want him to do that now. Um, I think that is his dream come true, or my dream come true for him uh, to be able to have that happen. So what I'm going to be doing here right now is, well, first of all, I do want to talk about it a little bit. Uh, about the uh, the kind of color scheme that we've got going on and a little bit about the uh, the retro graphics. I think this game looks pretty great, uh, if I do say so myself. And some, uh, you know, some might say, you know, but Josh, it doesn't look like any different from any other kind of game in the same kind of genre variety. You know, a lot of retro games do tend to look alike. And, and really, honestly, in a sea of games that have, like, this same sort of, like, I don't want to say, like, the same sort of mentality, but a lot of games, they, uh, they, they end up looking similar. Uh, or they have similar characteristics. But that's, I, I believe that's just more of, like, the nature of the beast that, of that is the, the genre of the, uh, I don't know, it's like, almost like the hardcore, um, uh, like, what is it, like, platformer, or, like, hardcore, like, adventure platformer. Um, you know, games like Super Meat Boy or, or anything like that, and you know, I've been covering like a bunch of them lately. They all really, you know, they, they feel similar because they have, like, they, they all work from one kind of uh, basis that if it ain't broke, then why fix it? And honestly, I, I don't really see the reason to why, you know, fix something that ain't broke. Um, obviously, you can, you know, make the argument, oh, but it's not, you know, pushing anything. And then, you know, you're not wrong about that. Uh, so if, if something doesn't push the uh, the genre forward, does that necessarily make it a bad game? I don't think so. Um, I've had a, a ton of fun with a lot of the games that I've been playing so far. And a lot of times, you know, these might be, uh, you know, developers' first games that they've been, you know, kind of working on. And so having that kind of tried and true element probably just gives them, like, the benefit of the doubt that, you know, maybe these games are pretty tough to make. But I can also make a fun game by just... Uh, Basically, using the same tried and true characteristics of uh, other games that I know and love in the past. Um, this game, in in particular, I really do enjoy. Uh, there's a plenty of like vibrant colors that keep me, uh, you know, wanting to come back and keep playing it. Um, the high score, I'm always infuriated by that. Uh, I would, I do want to, you know, constantly be able to um, get my high score a little bit better each time that I, I make the run. Um, every time I keep playing it, uh, there, there's something new and unique, or at least I figure out some different way to, uh, to defeat like this boss or something like that. Um, which is pretty cool anyways, because you don't really see too many bosses in these types of games. I did just beat his freaking ass, though. I've never beat that boss so fast in my life. I guess it was probably uh, due to the double jump. And the only reason, I think the only reason I'm doing so well right now, and I, I know that I'm basically, that was like me jinxing myself. Um, but I, I play this game pretty extensively. Uh, I probably put, a, like, an hour or so into it, and especially since, like, when I've done, like, an hour into this game, obviously what that means is I've done the first levels just a ton, ton of times. Um, so, oh god, oh no, 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 that was scary. Uh, I'm gonna try to get down here and get these heart power-ups. Um, so that is just basically gonna get me an extra life as I need it. 
Um, well, I don't really need it right now. I have 18 lives, and so, oh god, what's gonna happen is when I do die, I lose all of my power-ups, which is really unfortunate, and I, I don't want that to happen, obviously. So, I, but I, the good thing about it is that, you know, every once in a while you'll find these, uh, these hearts in similar locations, or they'll always be spawning in the same place every time that you restart the map. So I've got, I got myself back to 18 lives, which is great because, you know, it, you're able to kind of maintain some sort of difficulty status quo with that. So maybe you're not able to beat the, uh, the level every particular time, but if you're able to reach that, uh, certain heart every time, you at least guaranteed yourself to be on the same level or the same kind of area over and over again. What you just saw right there was a multitude of different enemies just basically just kicking my ass. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm not doing that or dying because of it. Uh, gotta be a little bit more careful. I'm not actually sure that this game is running at this full resolution right now, or the full speed. Um, maybe that's just my recording software being funky, but let me try this out again. Let me jump up and jump up again. Can I get it? Yes, I can. Great. Oh! And jump right into the electricity, Josh. Way to go, sir. You did a bang-up job right there. But anyways, um, I, I've had a whole lot of fun with this game. It's pretty great. Uh, definitely go check it out if you're a fan of the genre. And if you're not a fan of the genre, you know, maybe you know, all, the, all these games aren't for you. But I hope you had a, a good time. Anyways, uh, the interesting thing about this game is I just constantly am always seeming to get more lives and lives and lives. Um, so in this run in particular, it's probably like one of the best runs I've had in blue chip so far, but, uh, you know, as all good things do come to an end, I do want to at least try to make sure that I'm getting to the end of this level, uh, right here. If I could jump up and wait for that electricity to go, jump up again, Let's see if I can get up and beyond, yeah, we should be good here. Just be a little bit careful around the red guys, get my checkpoint with this blue place. Um, which isn't uh, always, uh, you know, something that's in the same category of games either. Uh, a lot of times that, uh, you know, these these hardcore platformer games, the levels will just kind of promptly uh, kind of come to an end or a beginning. There won't be any checkpoints. So seeing those is a little bit of a breath of fresh air. At least it makes it a lot more manageable to uh, to continue and doing well on the games. Uh, I'm, I'm not so sure if it's, like, uh, too... Hard to keep on, like, living or dying or anything, but, uh, you know, me being able to have 20 lives at this point is pretty damn impressive. And I do think it might have something to do with the other uh, frame uh, rate resolution dropping, so I do apologize about that. Uh, the, uh, the game really does uh, move a little bit faster than what I'm playing at. Um, but, in any case, that is going to be it for, for, uh, for Blue Chip my quick look at so thank you all very much for joining with me i've had a whole lot of fun playing it, and i hope you've been uh you know enjoying watching it as well i'm learning something a little bit more about uh new games that you might not have heard before but again the game is free it's a whole lot of fun go check it out on game jolt the link and everything will be in the description if you like what you see and i think that you will uh do yourself a favor and go check it out tweet me your high scores let me know if you uh let me know how how far you get and, uh, you know, I always like to hear from uh, my, my viewers out there and see how well that they do compared to how poorly I do. Um, but in any case, thank you all very much for joining with me. I've had a whole lot of fun. hope you have, too. I am Jay Smith, and I am on the Internet. I will check you guys out next time. Later.